Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we'll look at how the de-esser effect works inside Adobe Audition. If you're enjoying the videos I'm making, do hit like on this video, really appreciate it. Let's more people on YouTube know all about the stuff I'm doing. Uh, also hit subscribe and ding the bell, then you'll never miss another audio production tutorial from me. Here is some audio with a bit of sibilance going on. Oh, I got some good stuff, but this one <laughs> is so... And you hear on the... On this, there's a bit of distortion there. It's a little bit harsh on the ears. DSA essentially smooths that out. Now, in order to know what we need to put into the DSA, we need to use spectral frequency display up here or shift and D on your keyboard. And then you can see the problem frequency is around about here. Now, this is easier to see if we go into Adobe Audition preferences, control and comma or command comma on a Mac. Uh, so do that, load up those preferences. And you want to go to spectral displays, show the grid lines, turn the opacity right up. And then we can easily see over here that actually we've got a problem in between 7.6K and let's call it just over 10K, 11K. So 7,500 to 11K. Uh, we can then put this back to default and switch off the grid lines if we wish. 7.5 to 11K. That's essentially what we're working with there. So now if I want to smooth this all out, I go into effects, amplitude and compression, find that de and I find somewhere in the middle of that range. So probably around 9,000 will be good. And we'll just make sure that that's nice around both sides. So that's 6,000, that's about 7.5, and, and that's about 11. So that's the full problem frequency. So the center frequency is then going to be 9,301. Let's have a listen. This one is so... No so every time our speaker is saying a sound, you should see the gain reduction kicking in. If it's not, your threshold is probably too high. This one. <laughs> and if it's too much on everything. This one. <laughs> you've got the threshold too low. So you need to set it so it's just getting the S. This one. <laughs> there we go. So nobody. About minus 28 dB has done it for me. And that's the simplest way to set up a de to make your S and sibilant sounds a little less harsh. Now, if you want to learn more about Adobe Audition, head over and check out my courses. They're open for enrollment now at mrc.fm forward slash learn. That's mrc.fm forward slash learn. And any questions you have about DSs or DSing, let me know in the comments down below.